Hey YouTube, MJ here with a pre-custom review. Um, this is not actually the pieces that's getting customized. It's just the mold. And what I, I feel like I should say that because this is, for those most of you know, this is TFCC exclusive Pranacon release. The one that's getting redone is a bot, or Big Bad Toy Store release. And I'm actually, as many of you have seen, Frenzy, there's a Frenzy Rumble Piranacon listed down in my high coming attractions, so I figured I'd show off the mold. They're bricks. <laughs> they're simple, they're easy, they're fish. But for some reason, I have love the mold, kind of fell in love with it and wanted like every version of it. I still haven't actually gotten the Beast Wars one, and now my G1 color reissue is off getting worked on. But, I figured I'd show everything. So we'll start off with Scalar. Uh, as you've seen me probably futzing with them already, they're easy to transform. Deep Sea Fish with legs. Some cannons on his back. Those pop off. Flip the tail fin, pull out, flip out the hands, flip that down, and there he is in robot mode. Uh, this one's color scheme is mostly orange, purples, and a really dark blue. The G1, you've, most of you have seen, it's kind of, well, pinks and teals and bright. It's very G2. Uh, each of these ones actually has a target master mode as well as the animal fish mode. He's always going to be... Uh, for some reason, none of their weapons really hold in well in this release of it for me, so I don't really have any of them in the target master mode at any time. There he is. And we have the overall... Piranacon combiner. He is Scramble City, so any limb can go anywhere based on your choices and how you like it and appearance. Uh, posability, same as all of them. Rotating, ratcheting arms, and that's it. No knee, no head, a little bit of wrist rotation. And then we'll get into the actual bots themselves. It's got a man we have the manta ray. I'm not gonna I'm gonna do this kinda quick because I'll do a full review on each custom when I get them in. Flip them over, pull out, flip them down, flip down the feet, flip back the head. And there he is in robot mode. Uh, he's got kind of a yellow face. Or orange face. Some yellow highlights for the eyes. Rotation at the elbow. And technically, I guess, rotation at the hip. That's about it. So we'll set him off to the side. Got the lobster. His peg point is in his mouth, close up the mouth, uh, posability, in ro beast mode, the pinchers can rotate up and down, and all the legs can go down. Transform him, come around here, pull down, flip the tail around, flip up that piece, flip down the entire claw section. And there he is. Uh, with him, you have about 180 degree rotation all the way up, all the way down, but it's hindered because of the, of the feet and then the claws behind the feet. But you do have a couple of choices. You can either have him going down or going up based on how you like the way he looks. Either way, he's somewhat stable but kind of back heavy. 
Up next, we have Tentacle. Some I do remember the names right off hand. Uh, we'll start off with robot mode, just pull down from limb mode. Animal mode, while it's extended, flip down, push down on the head, flip out the tentacles, and pull those back, level out the tentacles. And there he is in octopus mode. Well, I guess technically if you count the legs, he's got eight, so he'd be a squid, but, or not eight, ten, so he'd be a squid, but whatever. And with him, same as the others, pull down. Uh, the arms act as nice stabilizers, so he's probably actually one of, in beast mode, one of the most level, or vehicle mode, robot mode. Sorry, it's kind of late when I'm filming this, and I should be filming during the daytime, but I, my work hours right now don't permit for that. All right, full rotation on him, once again. None of them have leg movement, none of them have a head rotation, nothing. So it'll be interesting to see the final version, how they look. Him, legs down, push them in, bring down the tail, clip it over the robot head, and straighten out the legs how you want them. And he is a shark with arms. <laughs> I know there's supposed to be just sea monsters, but some of these are just ridiculous. Uh... From torso mode, pull the head off, pull off the chest, straighten out the legs, flip down the heel spurs, and rotate down the arms. Got a little automorph gimmick, if you will, which pushes out the hand. And there's snap trap. I think it's snap trap. In vehicle mode, clip in those. We'll set that aside. Just a second. Get him in vehicle mode. Push in on the hands and rotate up. Keep him straight. Slip up. Push in the heel spur and then rotate those up so they clip in. Bring around the legs, rotate them down, take the chest piece slash shield, snap it into the back, and now he does have the palm hum gum that you can move along with it. I was lucky. Mine actually had the head stripes all in alignment because I know some people didn't. Uh, mobility, he's got posable jaw. Legs can rotate. Other legs can rotate. And bend at the knee, so if you want to have him reel riling back for some reason, you can. All in all, it's <laughs> new generation one bricks, but they're a cool design. I le love the ones that use uh, animals, which actually I was actually, I know some people weren't, but I was actually a fan, fairly large fan of the original Beast Wars. Beast Machines, not so much. But he makes for a nice figure. He's got some, r the Target Master thing is a really cool option. Um, if you're looking actually at getting into the Generation 1 stuff, uh, I would say pick up the re-issue of this, because a lot of the issues that I actually had with this one for the club exclusive, the Big Bad Toy Store release of it didn't have. So I'm a lot of the stuff that you know issues that I found just aren't there in, on that one. So definitely worth picking up. Even if you're not going to do it, just want a Generation 1 Gestalt, I'd buy it. Uh, other comments, uh, I'm really curious to see 
what happens and what he ends up being like when I finally get him back from getting work uh, from Frenzy Rumble. Because I've seen his Preda King, what he did with that. I just I'm of the bri generation one bricks that he takes and just turns into amazing things. So I'm curious to see how they it turns out. So uh, yeah. Until we actually f get the full review, which actually I may just wait to put this review up until I get the ones, other one's actual pieces back. We'll have to see. But thanks for watching and have a good day.